Denmark this weekend was dragged back onto a deadly stage, showing it is affected by a syndrome many countries in Europe are threatened by, involving extremists seeking to impose their values. Clashing with the adoptive nation's values with fatal results, Copenhagen and Paris being just the latest examples. This conflict has been brewing for some time in Denmark, smoldering threats linked to the publication in one of the most widely read Danish language newspapers, Ilans Posten, in September 2005. Kurt Vestergaard, propounding freedom of expression, drew a series of caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad. He never imagined such a storm. I'm only a simple cartoonist. Mm. And the day I made this cartoon, it was just another day at the office. Mm. And this cartoon it was only one among the thousands I have made through the last uh, almost 30 years. Westergaard's home was attacked. He's lived under permanent police guard ever since. Outraged over suggestions of any violence in their religion, early in 2006, Islamic faithful attacked the Danish and Norwegian embassies in Damascus and the consulate in Beirut. And religious riots saw scores of violent protesters killed as host nation's security forces fought to protect other diplomatic missions in Afghanistan, Libya and Nigeria as well. Newspapers across Europe republished some of the Mohammed cartoons in solidarity with the Danish stance on expression, not only Charlie Hebdo in France, but also others in Italy, Germany and Spain, to name a few. The hatred went underground, appeared to quiet down until this year on the 7th of January. The unrepentant French satirical magazine came under renewed attack with 12 killed in Paris, core contributors among them, five more people killed in related attacks. The French and the Danes have not been forgiven for offending radicals living in their midst.